And then, or you can unlock the. Should be able to unlock the meeting now. What do I do now? So it's live right now. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Okay, we're going to start in a, about 30 seconds. How do I mute everybody again? Sorry. Okay, good morning, everybody. We're going to get started. This uh, webinar today is about leveraging the value proposition we have on MyFab's cleanout design. Common cleanouts that we have. We're going to highlight the features and benefits of each. And then we're going to review the value proposition to our customers. Our cleanouts are the most different in terms of engineering versus the other Jazzawaz cleanouts, Josem and Smith and Wade and Zern. Um, we have some real features and some real differences that at first glance, uh, some people are nervous to talk about because they're so different. But once you get into why our design is better, it's a real powerful tool to convince or to show the plumbing engineer and the contractor why this is a better product. And that's what we're going to get into today. Okay, so there's two styles of cleanouts, uh, floor cleanouts and wall cleanouts. And the function of a cleanout is to provide emergency access, not access whenever we can get to it, but typically there's an emergency. There's a blockage in the pipe that's either below the floor that the, that the clean-out is providing access to or in the wall. Imagine a movie theater and something has got stuck in the pipe and we have problems in terms of smell, we have problems in terms of, of uh, blockage and, and, and uh, drainage. Um, we have to get into that clean-out quickly and rapidly. We have a problem. So the cleanout is, is it's kind of like an access portal or an access door, access to the pipe work to clean. And we have a picture here of the C1100R-3, um, which is 56 of the MPB uh, 2014 price books, Canada and US. And we don't have a photo of the C1430RD. That's our most common wall, page 167. And we have different versions of that depending on how we want to connect into the vertical pipe. Most of our time today is going to be on the floor cleanouts. Okay, the, the C1100 or the C1000, the only difference between the C1000 and the, and the 1100 is the C1000 is the stainless steel top, heavy duty, low rated top only. The C1100 is with either the nickel bronze light or medium duty load rated top, or you can choose the option dash three for stainless steel. You'll see that on the bottom of page 156 
the C1100-R, you can choose either nickel bronze, stainless steel dash three, or ductile iron tops. 156 is in series only, which you can see on the top right, uh, about a third of the way down, is available only in stainless steel. Same price, stainless steel, nickel bronze, which is one of our big features. Most of you have seen how we ship our clean-out tops, either the stainless steel, nickel bronze, or iron tops, the threaded top assembly. Usually there's a thick O-ring gasket around that top. And I went to the next slide. Look at the second picture down. There you see a nickel bronze clean-out top assembly. You see the foam around the threads, the white foam protector. That's so that when the contractor pours cement, we don't get cement mucking up the threads. And there's that big black O-ring gasket right underneath the cover. The function of that O-ring, that big O-ring, is to provide a test seal. And, and there's a lot of confusion of, about this and what that O-ring is for. If you look at the top right corner, you can see how the O-ring is placed inside of the A1 body. Um, right if, let's look at that A1 body. You'll notice that there are three weep holes. There's three little cutouts in the top threads of that A1 body. That's so when we use the same A1 body as a floor drain, that you have area for water to drain into the body. We need those three weep holes when we're using the A1 body as a floor drain. But when we're using the A1 body as a clean out, and that's one of our huge advantages, that the same A1 body is our standard floor drain and is our standard clean out, our standard mechanical room area drain and our standard small roof drain, all four in one. When we're using this A1 body as a clean out, we need to block those three weep holes. And the way we do that is using that big thick black rubber O-ring gasket. And that gasket, there's a groove right under the top threads of the A1 body that gasket is placed inside that groove directly under the threads, as you see in the photo, the top right corner of the screen. When the clean out top is then A1 body, whether it be a nickel bronze, stainless steel, or iron top, as the threads go into the body, they will pass and squeeze that big, thick o black O-ring gasket. And when they do that, we're going to seal those three weep holes. Now, why, we're, why we want to do that is so that when the plumber runs the test, the test of the plumbing pipework, typically contractors, once they have pipework installed, they put the clean out on top of the pipework, they'll run a, they will want to run a test of the pipework to make sure there's no leaks. So that could be a smoke test, that could be a water test, that could be an air test. And again, the function of this O-ring is to block those three weep holes so that when they do that test, we don't have any leakage through the three weep holes. What a lot of plumbers have said to us is in practice, they'll use a test ball in the bottom of the A1 body or in the pipework. And they'll use that test ball to, to seal the pipe at that point. So in effect, whether they use this big O-ring or not, in most cases it doesn't matter. And the reason why it doesn't matter is because they're typically using a test ball. Um, for those that aren't using a test ball, you do need to use that black O-ring gasket only for the function of the test seal. That gasket has got nothing to do with the gas seal. The gas seal on our clean-out is, if you look at the bottom right corner, you can see we've, we've got the clean-out upside down. You can see the underside of the clean-out cover. Um, we've got like a Y um, pattern cast into the underside of the cover. You can, you can barely see a thin black gasket, and that gasket is glued to the underside of the cover. That is the gas seal. So again, the gas seal is not the big O-ring gasket. It's the, it's the flat gasket that's glued to the underside of the cover. Um, 
and you can again you can see it from the underside perspective that is how we maintain our gas seal now with our competition Zern, Smith, Wade, Josem, Jazwez, none of them provide a gasketed cover in their cleanout. The way they provide their gas seal is with a secondary plug, which we're going to get to in a second. Okay, now here's a better picture on this next slide. The top right corner, you can see the gas seal, black gasket, is glued to the underside of the cleanout cover. Again, whether it's nickel bronze, stainless steel, iron, they're all the same way. One of our big advantages, and I explained this to a, a plumbing engineer, look at page 154 of the MPB price book, top right corner, page 154. And here's what I say, Mr. Engineer, when you're walking a job, when you're inspecting a job, how do you know when you look at the cleanouts in the floor whether they are sealed or not? With my fab product, you will know that you have a sealed cleanout looking at the top of the cleanout when the cover is flush with the rim. And the cover will be flush with the rim when the gasket is always in place. When the gasket's in place, the cover is flush because the gasket's on the underside of our cover. When you look at, at the top right corner, page 154, you, you see we have two details, one where the gasket is in place and one where the gasket is missing. When the, if that black rubber gasket gets deteriorated or torn or, or isn't there anymore after repeated use, then the cover will recess into the frame. So there's a visual inspection to know whether one has a sealed cleanout or not. That's unique to MyFab. That's a specifiable feature. With our competition, because none of them have a gasket in the cover, the only way they maintain their gas seal is via the plug within the body, the threaded plug. You cannot tell if the threaded plug is in place unless you remove the cover, which most people aren't going to do. They're going to assume that the cleanout is sealed, but if it's not, then you know, there's a problem down the road. So here I'm talking about the Jazzwaz design of the cleanout. Again, Jazzwaz is Josem and Smith and Wade and Zern. Um, our design is is different because of what I've just explained. I think I've got a good picture. Here you go. Here's the typical Jazzwaz cleanout. So you'll notice when you look at this cutaway, you have a top cover. You'll notice there is no gasket between the top cover and the body. There's no seal gas, there's no gas seal there. The only way they're sealing gases is through that, is via that threaded plug that you see a cutaway with a big raised head. Now, here's what plumbing contractors say to me. When, when they have to access a blockage in a line and they go into a building and they see that clean out flush in the floor, Number one, they often have a struggle getting the cleanout cover off uh, and, and so they can get into the cleanout. You know that with MyFab design, we have a recessed part that a screwdriver can go into the cover to pry it off. I'm going to go back to show you a picture of that. Uh, there's a good picture right here. Look at the, this screen, the middle picture on the right. You see right underneath the MyFab logo. There's a rectangular recess. That is so once the three Allen key screws are removed and all of the MyFab cleanout tops are provided standard with vandal resistant Allen key screws, whether they're nickel, stainless, or iron. Once those screws are removed, then that rectangular recess can be used as a lever point with a flat screwdriver to pry the cover off. Okay? With Jazzawaz, that doesn't exist. What the contractor has to do in this instance is remove the three screws. And what I hear is they take a hammer in some cases and they bang on that top to shock it off and out of the body. And you can imagine if that cover is nickel bronze, which a lot of them are in a finished area, then you're going to dish it and dent it. 
Okay, so the cover is off. Now we're looking down, we're probably looking down three or four inches, and what the plumber is going to see is this raised head plug. Now, how does he get that plug out? And, and again, he's in an emergency situation. He has the client has called him in. There's a problem in the building. That's why they're accessing this plug and in, in, to get at the blockage in the pipework. Most plumbers tell me that that plug, because there is no gas gasket under the cover, gets soda and floor wax and all kinds of stuff building up around the plug, making it very difficult to remove that plug. So a lot of them resort to taking a hammer and a chisel once they get the cover off and they break that plug, which is plastic as standard from Jazzawaz. The bronze plug is available as an option and an upcharge, but the standard threaded plug with Jazzawaz is plastic. So here's the contractor hammering away at that plug. Where do you think the pieces of the threaded plug go? They're going to go down the line, making the blockage in the pipework even worse. Now, let's say that there is no sticky stuff around the plug, and the plumber can get down in there, which is awkward, as you can imagine, three, four inches down, get around the, that big recessed head and unscrew that plug within the body. Even if that's the case, what happens next? How does the plumber get at the blockage in the line? Well, he's going to take a general wire pipe cleaning device, a you know five horsepower, ten horsepower device. It's got a, a an auger at the end of it, and that auger is going to go through this cleanout body down through the pipework to get at the blockage. Now the auger is not going to go directly down the middle of the cleanout. It's going to wear and rub against one side of the cleanout. And when it does that, it's damaging and wearing the threads that that secondary plug needs to be screwed back into because the only way Jazzwaz maintains their gas seal is via that secondary plug. The top cover plate is only the access point, no gasket. So you can imagine, even in the best of circumstances, the plumber has a struggle to get the cover off. Then he's looking at the plug. If he cannot unscrew the plug, he's breaking the plug. If he can unscrew the plug, the auger goes down, likely wearing the threads, making it difficult, if not impossible, to re-affix the plug into the body. So now you have a cleanup body with no gas seal. And the plumber will, I've had them say they shove things in that hole where the plug used to be to try to block it, or they just put the cover back on and get on their way. And nobody knows anything until the smell comes because now there's no protection from the sewer gas to come up through the pipework, through the cleanup body and into the, into the room. That's the typical Jazzawaz clean out. The challenge that we have is this has been the custom and the practice for 50 years. Every engineer or most engineers have in their specifications that clean outs must be with a secondary gas seal plug, which is what we're looking at here in this, in this Zern design. Um, so that is why we created the, the C1220 clean outs which is on page 163. The C1220 on 163 has the same, in my opinion, faulty design of a secondary recess plug because the C1220s are going to have the exact same issues that I've just described with this Jazzwaz cleanout. But we created the C1220s on page 163 because some engineers just have it in their minds that this is what they need because they've done it that way forever and either don't have the time or don't have the desire to, to learn about a new way. There are other engineers that do want to learn new and better ways for clean out design, their clients a better product. 
And it's with those engineers that we have a real strong value proposition because with our design, we don't have this secondary plug on the C1100 or C1000. Here's another big advantage. Look at this slide. So there's our A1 body. Now this is back to a C1100 clean out. The A1 body versus the typical Jazz West cleanup. Look at that height difference. Now, by that ruler, we're at what? Just over four inches, and they're at just under seven. So we got about two and three quarter inches of a height difference. Any plumber will tell you that the shorter the vertical distance on a floor drain or cleanup, the better. It's easier, it's always easier for them to make something shorter in the vertical install in a building in the floor versus something that's taller. And what makes this even more powerful is our floor drain body, of course, is the same A1 body. So the height is the same, whether it's an, a floor drain or a clean out from MyFab, even for that matter, a mechanical room drain, we have a consistent install height. With Jazzawaz, you're going to have a taller clean out, a shorter floor drain, so th there's more complications. There's more thinking that has to be done on the job relative to floor elevations. And where do I set that relative to the finished floor? With my fab, with one body only, you're consistently using the same uh, finish height grade because our bodies are the same. So here's the design flaws of the Jazz West. There's no gasket to seal the cover to the rim. Once the plug is not there, the cleanout will not prevent sewer gas odors. Few people have the tool to remove the plug within the body. If it's, it is often chipped out, resulting in debris falling down into the line. Once the plug is chipped out, there's no gas seal. Again, if the plug is removed cleanly, the snake, powered by a motor, is installed in the cleanout to get at the pipe blockage and will damage the threads, preventing the threaded plug from going back in. Once we have explained this to especially plumbing inspectors, because they're typically ex-plumbing contractors, there are very few people that we've talked to that don't appreciate this design. The, the power that you have is to ask an engineer to make our cleanouts, the C1100, the C1000, the basis of their design because of these design features. If you can do that, then you've really put Jazzawaz on the back foot because they don't have a ready design solution to answer that. It's interesting in Canada, because Ancon has been so strong in Canada for so long, and, and Ancon, of course, was sold to Watts, and that's how Watts got in the drain business. But the Ancon cleanout design was just like the MyFab C1100, C1000. And because they had such great market share, both Zern and Smith in Canada have copied the C1000 and C1100 cleanout design. They've had to because the engineers demand it for all the reasons that we've discussed today. I've heard some Jazzawaz reps in the US say that the C1000, C1100 cleanout is is no good it doesn't have a secondary plug it's not heavy enough and all this other nonsense but if you look on the zerner smith websites in, in their canadian section you will see that they have models just like our c1100 let's hope they don't bring it down here so we can continue to have this design advantage so the top 10 reasons you can sell MyFab cleanouts. Before we get into that, I just want to go back to the A1 body design and why our design is better than that Jazzawaz cleanup design. When, when one removes, and I'm going to go back to this picture so you can see this better. Let's look at the bottom right photo here on this slide. This is the, clean, the C1100, C1000 cleanout turned upside down. <clears throat> when one removes the cover, and you can see in the bottom right corner we have the underside of the cover, the snake then is entered into the MyFab cleanout system. There is no plug, there's no threaded secondary plug for the snake to hit. There's no plug to remove. Why? 
because our gas seal is the gasket underneath the cover. That's how we're sealing the cleanout cover into the shank of the cleanout with a gasket. That's our gas seal. So also you'll notice there are no threads on the inside. Looking at that bottom right photo, the inside walls are smooth. So the snake head can go in there and do all the damage it wants to the inside walls. It doesn't matter. It has no impact on our ability, on the plumber's ability, to reaffix the gasketed cover into the threaded shank and to maintain the gas seal. If that thin black gasket is removed or destroyed or lost, that cover, if you look at the middle picture on the right, that cover will recess in. That middle picture has got the gasket in place. I can tell without even seeing the gasket because the cover is flush with the rim. If the gasket wasn't there, it would recess down. So this is why the design of the C1000, C1100 cleanout is so much better. You have faster access into the cleanout via our screwdriver notch. Once you take the cover off, you have immediate access with the snake. There's no plug to deal with. Once you're done cleaning out the blockage in the pipework, back into the frame and, and away you go. The power of promoting this design is that you can stick with the A1 body to do your cleanouts and your floor drains, mechanic room drains, small roof drains. The easy temptation is to follow the spec and to give the engineer, the plumber, the wholesaler, the C1220 series because that's what the spec says. But when we, when we give in to that temptation, we're no better than the other guys. The product is, we're a little bit better because in addition to the threaded plug in the C1220, we also have a gasket cover that they don't have. So that would be something to promote to the engineer that cleanouts must have a gasketed cover. No one but my fab um, and Watts do have that feature. So let's go back to the top 10 reasons. As a summary, okay. Uh, number 10, the Allen key screws that we provide in the covers are standard uh, instead of the industry standard Phillips head, which is a star. So that's a specifiable feature because some engineers doing uh, elementary schools or, or uh, you know, younger children's schools will consider the Allen key screws vandal resistant enough. You know, obviously, if it's in a detention facility, they'll want the Torx and pin. Um, but that, there's no extra charge with MyFab for our Allen key screws. We charge the same price as our competitors do with the Phillips head. Number nine, the snake used to clean out the pipe blockages will not affect any threads inside of the MyFab cleanout. And we saw that earlier because the inside of our cleanout top is smooth. Number eight, the A1 body has an anchor flange to be used as required. Jazzwaz cleanouts do not. So when we go back to the A1 body, you know that we have an eight inch diameter flange around the body. That's standard with all of our A1 bodies. And we made it eight inches specifically because for a contractor doing a tenant improvement job, he can take an eight inch hole saw, drill through the concrete, and our A1, A1 body will fit into that just nicely. Some specifications call for an anchor flange, not often, but sometimes they call for an anchor flange for cleanouts. For Jazzwaz, they don't have that on the shelf. They have to take their feral body, you saw the picture of the, of the Zern body before, and they have to weld an anchor flange around that body. And with us, it's standard with the A1 body. More reason to promote the C1000 and C1100 series because you get that standard in the A1 body. In the A4 body, which is the C1220 cleanout, you don't have that. Number seven, we saw the photo. Um, our A1 body and our C1100 and C1000 height is considerably lower than the Jazzwaz cleanout. And whether we're looking at the blue one, the yellow one, the green one, um, the brown one, the, the clean-out heights are all very similar with Jazzawaz. Interesting to note, when you look at the C1220 clean-out, 
the vertical height of our A4 body, I call it the stubby body, um, is considerably lower than the Jazoaz cleanout. So if we have to go to that C1220, we, we have actually two advantages there. One, it's a gasketed cover. Two, it's shorter in vertical height. Number five, e or number six, easier to clean out blockages in the pipe with the MyFab clean out. That's because we don't have to fight the plug. We get right into the, into the pipe work. Um, number five. As always with MyFab uh, drainage products, stainless steel cleanout covers for the same price as industry standard nickel bronze. Now that's a heavy duty stainless steel cleanout, same price as the industry standard medium duty nickel bronze. So, <coughs> excuse me, less, less dishing, less um, ugly appearances of cleanout covers because of the wear on the tops. Number four, we saw the notch in the clean -out cover, and that provides a lever point with a flat screwdriver to remove the cover, easier to open than the Jazzoaz system. Number three, the same A1 body is used for the common floor cleanout, the common area drain, the F1320, the small roof drain, the R1100, and the floor drain, the F1100 series. Fewer parts, greater turns. You know, we, it's all about service, as we all know. So the, the more flexibility we give ourselves by if you only have a1 bodies on your shelf and not any a4 bodies and you can use those a1 bodies to fill cleanouts as well as floor drains because you've had your engineers accept the c1100 c1000 design you're stronger you're gonna have less chance of running out of parts number two the sewer gas seal is accomplished with the gasket underneath the cover major specification benefit Again, with all Jazzoaz cleanouts, there is no gasket under the cover. The, the threaded plug is the only way that they maintain their gas seal. And of course, the most important reason to sell our cleanouts is to make more money. Once you get our product specified, it, you're really in the driver's seat and making it harder for the competition to match us. So thank you. Go sell red. Have a great weekend. I'm going to open up for questions. Okay. Any questions? Right. Oh, I can do that, and then that. No. No answer. I don't see any questions. Should we call it a day, folks? You did such a great job, Michael. Uh, just per so just brother. perfect, right? Yeah. All right. I, I don't want to see any more orders for C1220 cleanout. C1000s and C1100s only, please. Discontinue. Got it. Thanks. All right, everybody. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. It was good. Not as many, uh,